it's Zara, and I'm here with a quick uh, library haul or something. These are just books that I currently have checked out at my public library, and uh, I have one book on hold, but I have no idea when that's gonna come in, so yeah, so this is all I got so far. So I have this bag right here filled with books, and then I have two right in front of me. So it's not that many, they're mainly from this like, there's one from a different author, and the rest are from the exact same author, but yes. And to be honest, I've read pretty much, I've read half of these, but like I brought, like I got them so I could do like reviews and stuff on them, so yes. So let's just begin. So the first one that is just by one author is the sixth volume of The Lumb Lumberjanes, and I have already read this, and I hopefully will have a review up soon. I don't know when that's coming out, but um, I've been waiting a while for this, and I'm so annoyed. <sighs> so, but I did really like this. Definitely another one of those weak volumes I just didn't like it as much as the other ones but it was definitely still interesting so yeah and if you don't know this is by quite a few authors but the main one I know is um well I don't really read from this author but I know one author is yeah so it says written by Shannon Wat or Waters or Waiters I don't know how to say that sorry uh Kate Lynch no I'm not even gonna try so I'll just like try and show you Hopefully you can read some of that, but I'll try and leave uh, Goodreads links to all these, too, if you guys want to check this out. So, again, this is the sixth volume, so I can't really say anything, because it could spoil, but I definitely recommend this series. I just, I love the first five vol volumes, and I know one of my sisters, I think she is reading this, or she's already finished it. Um, she loves it as well, and she's, I think she's 12 now, so, yeah. This is, like, this is a series for anybody, to be honest, and, like... It's like a lot of girl power and stuff. It's just, it's an amazing series. I definitely recommend this one. And then I have, let me put these in order because I don't know what. Okay, let's see. Which one is this one? Three. Why is number two? Ugh. No, I never understand libraries sometimes. Okay. Okay. So I have the first five volumes of Miss Marvel and I have the sixth one on hold and I Again, I don't know when that's going to come in, so we have, oh, they put these, like, little things on them, so you know it's yours, like, it has my last name on it, so I'm just going to take those off. So this is Volume 1, Miss Marvel, No Normal, and I have read all of these. I think Volume 6 is the only one I haven't read, or maybe I haven't read Volume 5. I cannot remember, because I know my school has them, but I forget what volume they have it up to. I can't remember if it was Volume 1, like, 1 to 4 or 1 to 5, but... I'm going to reread these because I haven't read them in a while, but to be honest, I remember not liking them that much. Like, I thought they were okay, but they weren't anything special, even though it's a good concept. If you don't know what this is about, it's about a... How old is she? All I know is she's a teenager. I think she's around my age, like 16, 17, and she's a... Is she Pakistani? Um, I believe she's a Pakistani Muslim, and I've definitely never seen that, especially in Marvel. This is a Marvel comic it's in the Marvel universe and it's just like finally like they have a Muslim character and stuff so like I do I can relate kind of to Kamala I think that's how you say her name like she's definitely an interesting character and somebody you don't really see that often but I don't know there's just something about this series that I didn't really like and I don't know why I didn't like it but yeah I'll get more into depth depth and uh a review I do I think I might do, like, a conjoined review of all five until I can get volume six or something. I don't know yet, but I'm definitely doing reviews on these. So, yeah, so I have volume one, which is no normal. Oh, I pulled my hair. Uh, volume two, which I... Why did I get the hardback version when all these are in paperback? I don't understand my library. Before I tell you, I found out my library only has volume one and two of Giant Days, and then they go to volume four and five. Why don't you have volume three? I need to read volume three because I love that series. Like, boy, I hate when they do that. I hate when the library gets like, like books in the middle of the series, but then they don't have the first one. Do you expect me to have them? If you're gonna buy a series, at least have all of them. Not out of order. Just, do any of your guys' public libraries do that or school libraries? Just like, do any of your libraries just do that in general? Because I just, I cannot stand when they do that. It's so annoying. Like, they're expensive. I'm not gonna buy them, even though I love them. But I don't have a job, and I know my parents ain't gonna buy them, because they're expensive, even though they buy me books that are expensive. But, like, like I'm gonna have to wait a long time, and especially because I don't like, I really don't like ordering online, um, because it's not my own money, it's my parents' money, and it's just, like, I can't get a job, and once I do have a job, you know I'm gonna be buying all the books. But, like, right now, 
could they at least get this third volume so then I can read them? And I think they have volumes four and five in ebook, and I hate reading graphic novels in ebook. I really just don't like ebooks in general. I don't know. They're just like I'm just not into them. But like, boy. Okay, rant over. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, so this is volume two, which is what is this one? Oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say what the name is. Mm, all I know is it's one, two. Boy, is so annoying. This is it's garbage. Um, interesting. Yeah, it doesn't say what the actual name of volume two is, but this is the hardback version. I don't know why they got that. And then here is volume three. And this is Crushed. It took me a while before. It's really annoying, but here's volume three, Crushed. Then we have volume four, Last Days, and finally volume five, Super Famous. And then I got three other books by this author. Oh, I forgot to name her. I forgot to tell her your name. Her name. It's um, G. Willow Wilson. I believe that's how you say her name. So yeah. And then I got three of her other books. So I thought I already read Miss Marvel. Why not try and read some of her other books? So I got Olive, The Unseen. Definitely said that wrong, but. So I don't know anything about these books because I haven't really heard anybody talk about these. I just know that, like, I know everybody talks about Miss Marvel, but I've actually never seen, I don't think I've ever seen anybody read any of her other books. So, yeah, so we had this one. This is in the last one. Then we have, I think this C is supposed to say, like, Cairo, a graphic novel. So, yeah, I think, like, the moon is supposed to indicate that it's, yeah, it is, because it says on the side, it's, like, Cairo or something. And the last book I have is, boy... Okay, next one is The Butterfly Mosque, A Young American Woman's Journey to Love and Islam. Interesting. Oh. So if you didn't know, hopefully that, like, here, let me try and fix that. The focus on her face. Can you see that? That's what, I don't think it's going to focus on her, which is really annoying. I'm sorry about that, but it's kind of, that's what, there's a picture of her on the back. Huh. One sec, let me focus it a little bit. So, yeah. Interesting. Oh, it has, um, what are they called? Deckled edges? Oh, can you tell they have deckled edges? I think they, I think you can. So, yeah. That's all the books I currently have. And all of them except the, what was the book that I, all of them except the volume 5 of Miss Marvel are due back July 26th. Knowing me, I'm not going to have them done, but who cares. So, yeah. I hope you guys like this somewhat quick of a video, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time.